What's up everyone? 3 d print 747 here. Um, I'm printing a Cindy Lou Who Christmas decoration for the front yard. This is on the printer right now and I want to slice this part of the figure and put it on my other printer. Um, what I'm seeing here is that the way this got cut up in Luban, um, which you can look at my other video, the one right before this one, um, where I sliced up a figure in Luban, um, you can see that this is going to take a lot of supports from the ground up. So what I'm going to do is cut this into two pieces and print it two different with two different printers or um, print it separately. So back on this plate, let's go ahead and select that and we can choose cut. And I'm gonna go in the middle there and I'm gonna add connectors and we will add a connector there, 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 and there. And Bamboo Studio will know what to do uh, with the top part, adding those connectors. So confirm connectors, perform cut, and we now have the two different pieces, right? So now I've got this piece, and then I've got this piece. And if you look at the bottom of that piece, you can see the holes for the connectors from where we added them for this piece. So what I'm going to do is throw it on this plate, flip it upside down, and now I won't have any supports when I print that piece. And then this piece will print probably without supports as well. I'm going to generate them automatically and see if these little flower petals here um, generate supports or not. But yeah, um, this will be an easy way to, to do this. This piece is almost off the printer, so once it is, I'll go ahead and throw this on the P1S and then this one's going on the P1P right now. So I'm going to go ahead here and choose P1P, 0.4 nozzle. I'm transferring all these settings. Um, you can see that I'm using 5% infill rect uh, rectilinear and then supports. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do auto trees like I said and let's see what this looks like. Let's see what this looks like when we're finished. Um, one other thing, I've said it before in other videos, I use a top Z distance of 0.3-ish, depending on the model. Um, the supports break apart really easy if I do that, so I'm going to leave that at 0.33. Um, that's what I've been using on all the other pieces, and they've been just popping right off without any marks on the print. So we'll go ahead and slice this guy up and um, see where we stand with this. So back shortly. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. 3D Print 747, I'm out of here.